Oh, learn from Hamas. 6,000 American bombs have come plus have come down on Hamas, and they're still kicking. Hezbollah's even deeper underground. You ain't going to even get a spot of dirt to come off their little bunker by bombing them. And they've got tunnels that reach deep inside Israel. People don't know that. And they're going to come screaming out of those tunnels. And, you know, in the Houthi, you're not going to beat the Houthi. You're literally not. They can't invade America. So we're not worried about that. We should, you know, I mean, so what are we doing trying to go to war against them? They're shutting down the strait for what reason? Because of Israel's ongoing genocide against the Palestinian people. It's not. Uh, let me, let me, ask this, Scott. And what they said was they're doing it because of the refusal to allow food and humanitarian stuff. Allowing food and humanitarian supplies in. That's all they asked for, that's it. right? That's it. They didn't say you got to end it. They wouldn't end it. Here's the question. Is that too much to end? Their, their request is in no way an unreasonable request. The world looks at what's going on in that standoff and says, what they're asking for is fairly reasonable. Are you willing to, let's face it, the direction we're going because uh, through the Red Sea, all this stuff from China, from the East, goes through the Red Sea to where? To Europe. Europe is the one. The EU is. They're gonna. Their economy will be wiped out if this keeps going. So the question is: Are you willing to wipe out the economy of Europe rather than simply allow humanitarian supplies into Gaza? It's madness, Scott. It's more than madness because, again, think of what we're why we're doing this. We're doing this because Israel wants to kill Palestinians. Let's just be straight up here. There is no military strategy for Israel anymore. They can't win against Hamas. They've already proven it. And America's told them, We're, you got to shut this thing down come the end of the year. Okay, you got to transition to another mode of operation. Uh, so what's Israel doing between now and the end of the year? Simply slaughtering as many Palestinian civilians as possible. That's it. It's genocide. And we're the ones enabling it. We're going to veto another UN uh, effort to bring about a ceasefire. A ceasefire. We say, no, let the Israelis kill as many Palestinians. Because it's not about defeating Hamas. It's literally about slaughtering Palestinians. The Houthi have said, we want that to come to an end. We need humanitarian good. So America is going to sacrifice everything. Everything. Because we're going to lose. I'm just telling you straight up, we're going to lose. We're sacrificing everything. For what? For what? If we just, because we're not going to solve the maritime crisis uh, that's taking place in the Red Sea right now. It ain't going away. It could go away if we just told Israel to stop. Now, we've made a decision. It's a despicable decision, but we made a decision that we're going to let Israel, we've greenlighted Israel's ability to slaughter thousands of Palestinians as part of their collective punishment. Because right now, Israel is only after revenge. They're simply trying to tell the Palestinians you can never let a Hamas thing like this happen again because Hamas will not be defeated. Hamas will always be there. So what Israel's saying is we're going to make sure you understand the price you paid is so high that if Hamas ever says, hey, we want to do that again, you say no. That's the Israeli objective. Um, it won't work because the Palestinian people are like, we're all behind this stuff now. Um, so we're going to sacrifice everything to appease Israel because that's what this is about. What it tells you is the control that Israel has over the American domestic political reality. Israel controls everything. We're not a sovereign state anymore. Israel literally has bought the American Congress and bought the American presidency uh, and bought the American establishment. Where's the American media? You know, I was always one of those people that sort of got a little uneasy when people would put up the, uh, you know, the, 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 the list of you know, a media, media moguls in America and talked about how many of them were Jewish and how many had links to Israel. I'm like, oh, God, that's a little anti-Semitic, don't you think? Not anymore, because the silence of the American media is deafening. The American media is standing by and allowing Israel to commit genocide, and they're not doing a damn thing about it. This should be at the top of everybody's. This should be the lead story. They should be calling out the hypocrisy of the Biden administration. They should be condemning Benjamin Netanyahu. They should be condemning Israel, but they can't because Israel owns them. Israel owns everything. Um, and so America is going to be sacrificed on the altar of Zionism, on the altar of this Israeli state. It's mind-boggling because it's stupid. It's counterproductive. 
it nothing good comes from this. This is all about assuaging the ego of Benjamin Netanyahu, the world's most evil man today. There's nobody in the world more evil than Benjamin Netanyahu. And he's an American friend. He's an American ally. We're going to let him kill as many Palestinians as possible. This is Christmas. I hope every American listening looks in the mirror and pukes. Because that's what you should do when you look at your reflection. Because you're an American. You stand for nothing except the death of so many people. We suck as a country. We have become so far off course, it's not even funny.